Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. In this video, we will discuss the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 303. It's a medium level problem. The problem name is Design a Food Rating System. Uh, so, we need to design a food rating system that can do the following. Modify the rating of a food item listed in the system and return the highest rated food item for a type of cuisine in the system, right? These are the two things that we need to do. Implement the food rating class. So the, in, in, the, in the constructor, we are passing an array of foods, cuisines and ratings, which is basically initializing our system by uh, a certain number of foods that we have, the corresponding cuisines and the corresponding ratings, right? So obviously, it says food of I is the name of highest food, cuisine of I is the name of the, is the type of cuisine of the highest food and rating of I is the rating of the highest food, right? Then we have a couple of more functions, uh, change rating. So change rating is basically taking a food and a new rating. So we need to update the rating of the food that is just passed, right? And the third one is highest rated. So highest rated is you pass a cuisine and what this function will do, this will return you the highest rated food item for this particular cuisine, right? And also if there is a tie, return the item with the lexographically smallest name. Right. We will we'll see that into example. What is now it says what is it, it tells you what is lexographically smaller value. So note that a string is lexographically smaller than string Y. If X comes before Y in dictionary, that is either X is a prefix of Y or if I is the first position such that XI and YI are not equal and XI comes before YI. So again, basic definition that if you sort those two, whichever comes first is basically the lexographically smaller name, right? Uh, so this is the example that we have given that that is given so food rating it is being initialized by certain number of uh, items right we can see we have kimchi miso su sushi and all that so these are the food items then we have an array of cuisines then we have an array of ratings and then we have certain queries uh, so korean you can see it's so korean says that return me the highest rated food item for korean then japanese then there is an update then again, so these are the stuffs that we need to do and yeah, these are the constraints uh, n can go for n, n can have a value of 2 into 10 to the power 4 and so on. Uh, ratings of i can be 10 to the power 8 and so on. So um, I would say uh, it's, it's more of uh, testing your uh, data structure skills that what kind of data structures would you take so that uh, the operations are optimized and all. So I'll, I'll try to first explain you with the help of a diagram that what are the what are the uh, data structures that we are using right so there are three things that we have cuisine right food items and ratings right and ratings now what we can do we can create a map we can create a map so these are the uh, things that are given so not two operations are given update update is saying update a food I update the rating of a food item right this is the first operation the second one is get highest rating and this is at cuisine level cuisine level right so now what we can do we can create a map we can create a map which has key as cuisine right so let's create a map which has key as string now what will the value what will be the value now for each cuisine what are the things that we need right what are the things we need ratings and food so for for a cuisine if someone asks us that return the food having maximum ratings so i need I, I need ratings as well so that means i need to group the items in the form of ratings right and also and also for a for one rating for one rating you can have a number of food items so what if we want to keep this in sorted order right so for a rating what we can do for a rating uh, let's keep them in sorted order so we can use a tree set here tree set to keep the food items right this will become more clear when i write everything and for rating for rating we can use a tree map now you can argue why to use a tree map why not uh, just use a simple map this is because when you query this map when you query this map for the for the highest rate in cuisine na, so if it's a tree map na so tree map will be storing the ratings in sorted order so you can just go to the last position of the tree map okay this is the highest rating that i have in my system then you can go into the corresponding tree set and tree set is also sorted 
सो यू कैन गो टू दी फर्स्ट एंट्री बिकॉज वी नीड दी लेग्जोग्राफिकली स्मॉलर वैल्यू फर्स्ट एंट्री एंड जस्ट रिटर्न इट राइट थिंग्स विल बिकम मोर क्लियर लेट मी जस्ट राइट इट एंड देन एंड देन प्रॉब्लम आई आई एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू सो लेट मी जस्ट चेंज दी कलर सो दैट या सो इट विल बी इट विल बी मैप ऑफ स्ट्रिंग दिस विल रिप्रेजेंट द क्विजीन देन द वैल्यू विल बी अ ट्री मैप अ ट्री मैप विच विल हैव रेटिंग दैट मीन्स इंटीजर एज द की एंड वैल्यू विल बी ट्री सेट हैविंग स्ट्रिंग राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेवल यू सी दिस इज वन लेवल दिस इज सेकेंड लेवल दिस इज द थर्ड लेवल राइट सो दीज दीज दिस इज द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट विल बी यूजिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर द सेकेंड मैप विल बी द सेकेंड मैप विल बी अ मैपिंग ऑफ फूड आइटम दैट इज स्ट्रिंग कॉमा इंटीजर रेटिंग राइट सो दिस विल बी फूड एंड रेटिंग फूड एंड रेटिंग एंड आई टेल यू वाई एंड द थर्ड वन विल बी we can keep a map of we can keep a map of string comma string that will be food and cuisine food and cuisine right these are the three maps that will be using and we are done now we just need to write the code which basically uses these three maps and we are good to go so first one will be storing the data uh, for, uh, with key as cuisine and then a value as a tree map the tree map will have rating as integer and a tree set as the food items that have that particular rating for this cuisine right now why do we need food rating we need food rating because if someone says that okay update this rating of this food so we need to go to the correct we need to go to the correct uh, tree map right what is the old rating so suppose the old rating was 20 just take not 20 suppose the old rating was 4 so what we do we go to this the first thing is we need to find the cuisine right so for this food cuisine is not changing so someone says that okay uh, update the rating for this food item so go to this map go to this map fetch the cuisine fetch the cuisine then go to this map right so after this you will be getting the tree map right now this tree map will again have ratings and tree set so what you will do you will see what is the old rating of this particular food item from this map so just fetch that particular tree set from that tree set remove this food item remove this food item now go to the new tree set to which tree set which is the new tree set it will be based on the new rating that is given to us right it is based on the new tree rating a uh, new new food rating now what we do the cuisine is not changing so for same key we go to the tree map and in the tree map we we go to a different integer that integer will represent the new rating and then for that new rating fetch the tree set and add the current food item and we are good to go right so what we are doing we are going to this map we are fetching the data for a particular cuisine in that data we have things uh, arranged according to ratings we know the old rating so we remove the food item from the old rating and we put the food item into the new rating and we are good to go right so this is the main logic that i have used in my code let's look into the code uh, so again as i told you we have created three maps on line number 3 4 and 5 cuisine rating food uh, food rating and uh, food cuisine right uh, i have named it so that you know what are the purpose of the maps right now again on from line number 9 to 22 we can see we have initialized our maps with the initial data provided in our constructor right so if cuisine rating food doesn't contain this cuisines because maybe this this cuisine is we are seeing this cuisine for the first time so you just put it and initialize with a new tree map on line number 11 then what do you do on line number 13 you 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 check whether we have this if we have this cuisine the if we have already have this entry for this cuisine then fetch it otherwise create a new one then you check for this cuisine do have do we have the rating entry like do we have the current rating entry if not put that into the map right then fetch the tree set on line number 17 we are fetching the tree set we are adding the food item into tree set and then we are updating our map right so and on line number 21 and 22 we are updating the food rating and food cuisine as well because we, that can be you that show that it can be used while updating the rating right so this is the initialization part let's come to the change rating this is the main logic so change rating is so 
what is the old rating on line number 27 what is the old rating so old rating will be food rating dot get food because we have saved the uh, rating of each and every food item in in this map food rating app uh, food rating map right now there is an optimization on line number 28 if the new rating is equals to old rating just return don't do anything right why why to run the logic now comes uh, uh, other logic for this food item get what is the cuisine on line number 30, 31 right what is the cuisine now for that cuisine get all the data that you have that means ratings and the corresponding food items right so on line number 33 32 and 33 we are doing the same so we get the set on line number 33 that these are the food items for the old rating of the current cuisine right now you remove the food item on line number 34 from this set now if the set becomes em empty then if, if this set is empty then remove that old rating from the map because suppose for a particular cuisine there was only one food item having rating 4 if that food item is removed or the rating of that food item is updated that means there is no food item having a rating of 4 so remove remove that entry right now on, on line number 38 if um, uh, if the map is not empty if the set is not empty then old rating will be updated right old rating will have the new food items new new set having uh, the current food item removed from that set right now on line number 42 now we need to update uh, the food item uh, according to the new rating right so what we will do <coughs> for this cuisine again what we are doing fetch the fetch the data fetch the data and then uh, what you do you fetch the set that whether for the new rating we have we have a tree set or not we have an entry in the map or not if that is there uh, we get it or by default we get a new tree set on line number 43 add the current food item into the set put that into the map and update the food rating app a uh, food rating map as well with the new rating so that it can be used in the, uh, in, the in, in next iteration if that is required right so this is all we are doing uh, the code is a lot but actually we are removing the uh, entry from old old tree set and putting it into the new tree set that is the main gist of the problem right now the third function is highest rating so since we have uh, we are putting uh, we are we are already having the data in sorted order so all we need to do that for for the current cuisine get all the entries then on line number 51 get the last entry now i was telling you know that we are using a tree map for storing the ratings as well that was because so that we can have the ratings also in sorted order so now max rating will be the last entry in the map that is present right so we get that particular rating and that for for that rating we we return the first entry in the set because that is already sorted because it is a tree set and hence we'll be uh, returning it uh, as, as our answer so these these are the three functions and so it basically tests your data structure knowledge so i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and also if you have any queries do mention that in the comments i'll try to answer each one of them okay take care bye bye